Now the cold temperatures and heavy winds wreaked havoc across Rhode Island and a good portion of the Northeast. Late last night, the Cranston Street Armory felt nature's power firsthand where they sustained damage from the heavy winds. 12 News reporter Joe Cortez joins us live from Providence with how officials responded. Joe. Thanks, TJ. The warming center behind me was preheated ahead of that cold snap, but suddenly last night the temperature plummeted after a few of those windows were shattered. Rhode Island's housing secretary tells me that they've been on scene throughout the day to try to address the problem, but there's still plenty of work to be done. The Cranston Street Armory Warming Center got a whole lot colder last night after heavy winds took out multiple windows in the main drill hall. In the case of emergencies, uh, there is the need to adjust, and that's what the very able team of the National Guard, the Department of, Administ of Administration, and others in the state are doing. A united effort of neighbors and community leaders is underway to insulate, warm, and get the armory and the people who use it ready for the cold. It, it's just what makes this such a wonderful community, and it's the reason that we're getting through it together, even when new emergencies occur in the midst of the emergency. 12 News caught up with a few locals who say they've been collecting through work and other means to give to those in need. So we were able to get a whole bunch of donations through that, which is great. A lot of people, a lot of caring people on the west side and all over yeah, that sure. want to help out our neighbors. Pryor said, although the outpouring of support has been incredible, the crisis is far from over, but locals are up to the challenge. If you're feeling particularly grateful for your warm apartment, which is how I yeah. was last night, like, yeah, seriously, take that moment to, to look in your house. closet. Then like, like there was a lot of stuff that I looked in my closet today that I was like, it would help a lot of people more than it would help me. And the governor's office tells us a new shelter has opened up on Hartford Avenue in Providence dedicated to housing couples and that opened up two days early. Now we're still trying to gather some more information tonight, but we'll have much more coming up at 10 o'clock. Reporting live in Providence, Joe Cortez, 12 News.